Hey, good morning YouTube. This is Anthony um, Ray coming at you guys with a video. Um, just wanted to touch upon a topic uh, that's been circulating uh, through the news. Um, being that I'm a black man that actually resides in Georgia, I feel compelled to actually talk about this. And we're going to talk about Ahmaud Avery. And first and foremost, I want to give condolences um, to his family and also Biden family. Uh, this is definitely a uh, tragic incident. Um, so the father and son were both arrested. Um, the father uh, was denied bail, uh, Gregory McMichael, which is age 64, and son Travis McMichael, uh, age 34, were both arrested. Um, this is just a total, <laughs> actually just all on the wrong, so on so many levels, but um, I want to actually take this as an opportunity. Um, as a matter of fact, that's basically what this is an opportunity um, to educate educate ourselves on finance, you know, firearm literacy. Okay, um, Ahmad Avery was an unarmed black man um, that was gunned down uh, while doing something I do pretty much all the time. Jog, I do it all the time. I walk my dog, jog around, the, you know, the neighborhood, and. Um, one thing I do is that I'm always armed anywhere I go. Um, you know, if I see someone, um, you know, that say, hey, come here, uh, try to block me or anything like that, my natural inclination is going to be to put my hand on my hip, okay, um, to grab my tool. Um, you know, anytime someone uh, tries to block you from going forward or um, get out of a truck and, you know, pull a gun on you and say, hey, come here, that basically means, you know, they're going to either shoot you or kidnap you, okay? And at that point, you have the right to defend yourself, okay? That is your basic fundamental right is to pretend, uh, you know, protect yourself. And here in Georgia, you know, this is a stand your ground state. So Ahmad Avery had um, every right to defend himself, and that's basically what he tried to do. Unfortunately, uh, he was not armed, and the perpetrators were armed, okay? Um, again, this is just stupidity on the highest level though, you know, um, uh, you know, definitely, you know, there's a racial element. The guy was, um, basically, um, being profiled as a black criminal just based on a description and it, it was basically hunted down and shot down, uh, you know, by two guys, um, that profiled him as a black criminal. Okay. And and people, you just can't do this, okay? And this uh, makes it bad for uh, two-way advocates because, um, you know, they're going to use this propaganda, you know, the far left, um, to basically make this another reason uh, to have restrictions on firearms. Even if you thought a person looked suspicious, uh, you don't follow them. That's stupid. I mean, you put your own self in jeopardy. I mean, what if that person... I uh, could have got to jump on you or ambush you and kill you. It's stupid. Don't follow someone. If you see someone that looks suspicious, quote unquote, suspicious, a black jogger, um, probably call the police as your best uh, bet. Uh, give a description, but not being a vigilante. You know, I use a second, you know, to a um, amendment basically to defend my family, to fight off a tyrannical government. And it's my right, but I do not get into the vigilante shenanigans of following people. Anytime you follow a person, nothing never good happens when it's happening. You know, you got the George Zimmerman situation, the same thing. He should have just jumped on the phone if he thought this was a black suspicious criminal. Get on the phone, call the police, but never go follow someone. He engaged it, and again, the result always ends up an unarmed black man um, being killed, um, you know, it's over and over again. I'm tired of hearing that narrative. So what I'm saying is, um, we all need to take this opportunity to teach our community firearm literacy. Uh, if you do not have a criminal rocket, um, arm yourself. Um, uh, you know, Ahmad Avery, uh, had a handgun or any kind of, um, long distance, uh, weapon. There was a possibility he could have saved his own life instead of having to have a close uh, combat with someone with a gun and putting him at the disadvantage. So he had two people that were highly armed 
And there's also um, other stuff that come out about the cameraman, him possibly having a role in it. And, you know, it's just a mess. Um, you know, this has to stop. And I'm just glad that, you know, you know they finally, uh, GBI decided to arrest this guy, you know, these two guys after three months, which should have been much sooner. Um, but this is just a, um, a video, just wanted to discuss it. I'm here in Georgia and I am disgusted about it, but I am glad that we at least got an arrest. And we're going to see what happens from here. I don't have all the facts on it, but as uh, this case uh, continues to go forward, I will definitely be monitoring it. Um, but again, this is another reason to arm yourself. Again, you know, I'm going to say this over and over again. If someone pulls up on you and say, hey, come here, um, your natural um, instinct should be to put your hand on your tool because it's not good when someone blocks you from your path saying, hey, come here. You know, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to do what I tell you to do. And as a um, self-defender, you know, you can't go for that. So again, I want to say... Um, Rest in peace to Ahmaud Avery, condolences to the family. Um, the Second Amendment shall not be in French. Guys, I'll be coming at you with some more content. Have a great day. Thank you.